All right, we only got time for one of the talk of the tables, but this one grabbed my attention. Maryland couple, they're under investigation for child neglect. But get this, this is what they're in trouble for. They allowed their children, ages 6 and 10, to walk home alone from a local park. Now, these kids had a one-mile walk. Now, the parents let them walk home. This is Silver Spring, so if you know Maryland, we're not exactly talking the hood here, okay? And when somebody in the neighborhood, it's always somebody in the neighborhood, they call the cops, the parents were scientists, they call themselves free-range parents, they're not doing themselves any favors doing that anyway, uh, they say they're part of a movement that encourages parents to give the kids some space. Now, I'm not into this free-range, whatever they call it, but at age seven, I walk to and from school by myself yeah. with other kids grinning, but really by myself, no uphill both ways. That's what the funny director had to say, Ralph. No, but almost a mile each way. And my point is, I was seven. There were right. two of them. There were 10 and six. And again, this is Silver Springs. You're a Maryland guy. You know this is exactly, right this nearby. is not inner city Baltimore, okay? I grew up in Manhattan and we took the subway and took the, my brother and I, we were that how age. How kids right now <laughs> going to public school? You know how it works if you win the lottery system. Some kids take three, four different subways to get somewhere when they're seven, eight years old. It's ridiculous. I mean, where are we going here where a kid can't walk a mile? Well, I will take the unpopular position, obviously, at <laughs> the table tonight. Go for it. I cannot figure out who's on they, what side here tonight. They yeah. should be investigated, Richard. What, what, because what about, they said free range like a chicken or because of no, what no, they no. did? But Richard, what, okay, what about the pedophiles that are out there? What what, waiting that? waiting for children. Oh my God. I mean, little kids walking a mile to school? I mean... You've been talking to my wife. I swear, they, the kids go on bikes, and I'm almost trailing the kids what, right what behind your wife you say? What's your wife saying? She's just like, well, you see, the you. She's saying like you. <laughs> but my <laughs> point is, I'm like, you, why can't the kids just get on the bikes and ride around? Like, you're going to let them go all the way around there? Dominic, that's the point of being a kid. With, with love. You know, nothing but love. With love. Oh, with yeah, nothing but love. Bring it. But, bring it. But bring like, it. That's like saying, don't let kids cross the street because they get hit by a bus. I mean, bad things could happen. Why? Well, as a kid, but, I got hit by a car. But, so that's, so that's, <laughs> that explains a lot. That explains a lot. My daughter had a lemonade stand last summer and I hid in the bushes. You know what I mean? Because she was on a corner. It sounded bad. That's what they're there. They're going the road. Did she have a license? Was it to the consumer protection department? But it's like, no, you go out there and do it all by yourself. You could do it. I'm hidden in bushes watching you know? Oh, you kidding me? I talk a good game. That's what I'd have to do if my kids did. Oh, I would do that. A couple, first of all, it, when, when a CPS, Child Protective Services, gets a call with concern, I think they have to open a file in a lot of cases, or at least they have to investigate the veracity of the claim. So okay. I don't know if they're going to seriously launch the investigation, but that's, that, that's part of the way those laws are written, and that may be something that needs to be changed. The other one is, who's this neighbor who's the busybody? Who's oh, there's like, one everywhere. But, but I'm telling you, this is a bigger thing. I'm in the minority here, and it sounds like Andrew is too. That they're 10 and 6. I'm with you. I agree. They can, I mean, what are we saying to these kids? We're so insulating them, Richard, right? Richard, Richard. I'll be lucky I'm not sleeping on the porch tonight, but go <laughs> no, ahead. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, your wife is really a smart person. Uh, she she but has dumb. the same opinion I do. I mean, I my God. <laughs> Think about the things as kids. <laughs> but here's the false well, GPS. It wasn't you know? safer when we were kids. Who's kidding? No, you right? heard. It was worse. But and yet, Richard, we did it every day. And nobody's Richard, called in sight. Was it safer when we but were kids? But no. no. some of these nut jobs out no. here, it takes two seconds to snatch there a child, always sexually jobs. abuse them. I'm not saying walk home at two in the morning. I'm saying that, all right, all right, I'm not going to win this. A mile? A mile? You, you can't defend against everything. I mean, it's a um, mile. But that's a mile's not that far away. It's like, and we want kids to walk and exercise more. There is an obesity problem in this country. Walking a mile to and from school. Oh because, God! Because I'm really <laughs> on that <laughs> point, let me get out. I want to give you a couple programming notes. Monday night at 6 p.m. We have a we have a special presentation here. It is honoring the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, we have a terrific panel that we've put together from really all different disciplines about how far we are in his dream. And you will hear the I Have a Dream speech as we do every year in its entirety. Also tune in Tuesday. Uh, Andrew's gonna be down in the nation's capital. President Obama delivering his sixth State of the Union address. And walking, finally, I'm walking to Washington. Uh, be careful though, get some uh, chaperones. Uh, and finally, um, be sure to tune in on Wednesday. Governor Cuomo delivering his State of the State address will be in Albany as well. And as always, we'll have panel discussions as well. All right, we'll be right back, everybody, with a look at headlines in the local area. Gentlemen, thank you. We'll be right back.